I am at Big Darby Creek off of US 40 near Battelle Darby Creek just east of West Jefferson. We'll explain a little bit about some of the habitats here uh, in the creek. I actually monitor this for the Ohio Department of Natural Resources and their stream quality monitoring program. So I get to see a lot of what's really going on in this water here. This creek is actually very healthy. Um, I find such things as helgramites, crayfish, caddisfly, water pennies, stoneflies, a little bit of everything in here. Um, the substrate contains such things as sand, silt, rock, cobblestone, rocks. Different organisms live in different parts of the creek. It depends on the type of life it is. You can pick up any of these rocks and you may find something attached to it. Now this is October. A lot of times there's high grass out here. Some things may even live over here where the water is a little deeper. It's about two feet deep over here. Things can live up underneath of these roots of this tree, such as some of your larger fish, snakes, muskrats. Some go up under there for protection from prey. They, they can go up under some of the, uh, the cover from branches and so forth. Uh, to get into the shade to protection from the Sun the heat if you look at the bank here You see all kinds of vegetation that is really a plus for this because it helps prevent some of the erosion That's why if you have something like this coming through your yard It's best not to cut up towards the end, edge towards the bank You want to have a nice buffer zone up there Such things as raccoons possum deer Coyote fox whatever it can come down they drink from this water. You also find such things as mink, uh, beaver, all kinds of things live in here. Uh, but you'll have things that live in the actual river. Then you'll have things living along the banks. You'll have things living in the banks. Uh, some of things living in the river. Like I say, you'll, you'll find uh, some things, uh, amphibians will lay their eggs. You'll find macroinvertebrae, fish, snakes. Along the banks or in the banks, you'll find some mammals such as your mink and your muskrat. Uh, you also find snakes along the banks sometimes living up underneath the, the overhangs such as these these uh, branches right here This provides shade. It also provides cover and protection from some of the animals in the river Now right here the water is about a foot deep. It's moving a little bit faster than it was over in the uh, first riffles that we were at So the next time you're out uh, in the river, stream, or wherever, in your neighborhood, or uh, check out some of the habitats. You'd be surprised some of the things that you'll find. Look underneath some of the stones and the sticks. Just make sure you turn them over gently so you don't injure anything. Um, look at the banks. Are the banks really, are, are they washed out, a lot of erosion? Uh, holes and overhangs, those are things that you want to keep because they are they're great habitat and homes for some of the wildlife. If you'd like to see one of my recent monitoring sessions, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can see some of the things I do.